Alright boys, here's the scoop. Anytype released a couple of days ago its 0.42 update. Now, aside from having things like infinite latex and a couple of new widgets, the main priority here is the fact that they've redesigned the sidebar. You used to be able to switch your spaces, you know, the different places your notes were organized, with this little menu at the bottom. It was in this bar next to the graph view and the search. Now it's been put on the side where you can open this up and select any of your different working spaces. Now, you might think this is fine, but a lot of people really don't like this, and honestly, myself included. One reason for this distaste is the fact that this bar automatically hides and shows itself, and it's kind of buried in the settings to go turn this off. The second thing is that if you turn off this feature of seeing your different spaces so you just have the regular sidebar, you can't switch spaces, and you have to go change the setting to go find your spaces. Maybe there's a different way to do this, but I've been unable to find it thus far. Now, all of this kind of frustrates me for a couple of reasons. One, the sidebar is inefficient, and it's clunky, and it's not designed for you and mine. But two, and more importantly, I feel like the inclusion of a sidebar is kind of concerning for the design principle of any type. Think of it this way. These sidebars are included in a lot of different applications, and the good ones include them because it makes sense, and the bad ones include them because everybody else is doing it. I feel like AnyType is trying to implement this design feature not because this is actually something that they want for their app, but because it makes it look more similar to things like Notion and Obsidian. I think AnyType needs to strike out in its own direction, and this is kind of backpedaling. It's got this unique design for how information is stored. It's got this unique interface with how we you know, interact with the things that we put in its app, and it's trying to copy other applications. If any type wants to be separate, they should try to be separate. And if they want to just be offline Notion, they should also try for that. That would be pretty cool. And since Notion doesn't seem to want to do it, there's a, you know, a market demand there. But trying to be both simply doesn't work. And I feel like this sidebar is a perfect representation of something that had good intentions, but was implemented to keep up with the trend, not necessarily serve its customers. But after all of that ranting, I'm still happy to see any type get an update. I think it's good that the team is still working on it. I just think they need a new direction. As far as that goes, it's a pretty small update, and the widget sidebar has made more discussion than the rest of the features combined. You can find a full list of the change notes from the link in the description, and aside from that, watch this space. I've got a video on the Kindle Scribe coming at some point. I've got a new AnyType tutorial on its way, so yeah, things are happening around here, and I hope to see you again soon.